Oh my, my neighbor was playing music till about 6 a.m. for a party. So I didn't sleep that good, but it's 10 a.m. So I'm getting up and I was gonna just vlog my Sunday. Sunday's like a day where people relax or do, you know, chill, peaceful things. Um, so later I'm gonna go on a hike with Natalie um, and hopefully my other friend Lo to a waterfall in winter in the Hamilton area. I'm gonna meditate right now. And then I think I do have to do work though, which is cooking. I'm gonna do a recipe test. So that's like still kind of relaxing. You can share what you do on a Sunday. I feel like people have like Sunday rituals, like whether it's brunch or hanging out with certain friends and stuff like that. And I don't, but I try to leave Sunday work free, but sometimes that's hard obviously. And I'm vlogging. <laughs> do we count my vlogging as work? It is work. Cause I basically woke up and was like, what's my video for Monday? I have no idea. Anyway, um, meditation first. You're always asking to see where I sleep. So I think you've seen it, but it's basically just like this. It's a queen mattress that fits up in this little thing. I obviously never have to make my bed because no one sees it. And then you just walk down this ladder and there's Snickle waiting for you. I'm coming. And then this is the whole apartment. There's nothing else to see. You're always asking for an apartment tour, but you see the kitchen and then that's that <laughs> and the messy table. And that's this whole space. Maybe I will miss it a little bit when we move to the house, like just a little bit. But I won't miss the fridge and the stove. Okay, so it's 10.30 and I'm gonna try and test this Valentine's Day recipe that I wanna make, which is kind of like a, well I envision like a Nutella kind of tart. So hazelnut and chocolate mousse in a graham cracker crust. Um, so I'm going to try and do that before we go on our hike and I'm picking them up at 1 o'clock to go hiking in Hamilton. But anyway, I'll get cooking. I'm going to make some coffee, uh, have a piece of toast while I cook at the same time. And I guess I should say I'm baking. I'm not cooking today. And I'm still like a bum in my pajamas because I'll just get ready before I leave to go get my friends. So I found these at the grocery store and they are vegan. Wheat flour, modified oil, shortening, graham flour, sugar, icing sugar, corn syrup, molasses, baking powder, salt, barley, malt, soy, lectin. So they're really cheap, so I decided to buy them. But this company is owned by Kellogg's, and I looked on Kellogg's in their product FAQ, and they said all of their um, enzymes and preservatives and things like that are not from animal ingredients and only the ingredients that are like milk and things like that are. So I feel like these are safe from the research I did. And they are used in other vegan recipes all over the internet. Now I could just make my own graham crust and that was a thought and I still might do that depending on what um, pan I use because I might, this was like supposed to be easy. I was trying to make it an easy recipe and some people don't want to make their own crust and that's fine, this is an option. But I still might try making one if I use like a spring form pan and make like a bigger kind of cake. But basically I have to test the filling so it kind of depends on what happens with the filling. Anyway, that's my thought process of how to work with recipes and stuff like that. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the whole recipe as I test it, but I am gonna roast these hazelnuts or filberts as they're called. And hopefully roasting them, I can just go like this and peel off some of the skin. Cause I don't know if I wanna blend them with the skin on them. Maybe it doesn't matter, it's very thin skin, but I'm gonna try roasting them anyways to give them more flavor. So the idea is that this is kind of like Nutella, right? Chocolate hazelnut, I'm gonna use coconut milk, tapioca to make it stiff like a mousse. Everyone's obsessed with Nutella, it's really annoying actually, but um, <laughs> everyone likes it, so I thought this would be a good Valentine's Day thing. I actually don't like Nutella, I think it's disgusting, like the actual Nutella, cause it's got so much milk in it, and like why would you put that on toast, it's really weird. Um, but chocolate and hazelnut is a good combo. So I think if it's just made right and it's made vegan, it will be better. So I got my chocolate mousse, chocolate hazelnut mousse. I gotta let it cool and then we're gonna put it in the crusts. Now the other thing is because this is a test <clears throat> and I feel like I have more than I need here. I'm mildly curious to see what happens if I bake it like a souffle. It's not gonna poof up like a souffle, but it has tapioca in it, so it should poof up and like get a crust on top. 
and I wonder if it becomes like molten lava, like a molten lava cake. So I'll see what I have left and then maybe I'll try that. Otherwise I'm putting this in those crusts and chilling it. But I don't know, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So these are going to chill while I go on this hike. We'll see what they taste like later. I made this with the extra. I don't know, I don't think it's anything. I think it's too bland. And I put flour in it, but a molten cake doesn't have flour, duh. I own a company that I'm finishing watching The Holiday, which I started watching last night when all the music was going on in my apartment from the neighbors. And I've never seen this movie and I quite enjoy it. I very much like Cameron Diaz and Jude Law and Kate Winslet. So I have 10 minutes before I need to leave to go pick up Natalie. Okay, the whole crew is here going on a hike. Hi. Hello. Well, I was hopeful that Law would come. I wasn't sure earlier when I said we were going on a hike, so I'm glad you came. So if you ever want to copy us, it's in Milton and it's called Hilton Falls. It's about an hour hike to a waterfall. So normally in the summer you can just go in there and swim, but obviously I am not going to do that now. It seems easy, but I don't think it is. <laughs> it seems like it's easy. Hold on at the bottom. I'm not flexible. Okay, now you gotta pull holding up. Okay. Okay, but use your feet. Now bend your feet up. There you go. You got it. Okay. Yeah, do it like that. I, I hold at the bottom and then use your feet. Use your feet and then I climb. Like how did you walked up? Yeah, I walked up, but like hold onto the bottom, like what? Grip, how? Grip onto it, like you can kind of. It grip seems onto so it. easy, but I know it's not. <laughs> you got it. You got it, girl. You got it. Now what? There's, there's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Put that foot, put that foot right there. See, there's an edge right there. There's a rock right here. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think you're gonna like this video. <laughs> <laughs> Children, be safe. Okay. God, no, hold up. I just don't want to go. <laughs> You know, I have no strength and my body's hurting. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't let go! Don't, don't start again! No. Oh, yeah, this is I possible. No, you grip you can, the you bottom. Grip you the grip the bottom of what? Like, you, there's like, tight. like, put your nails yeah, you into them, the you tree. Do you feel it? There we go. You yeah. Oh, my shoes are too slippery. Look. No, 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 no. You gotta, like, kind of counterweight almost like lean back so it's almost like you're holding onto forward. the tree do you know what i mean yeah but i'm only getting one side of the tree no both i use both edge your f yeah you got it first papa says i'm scary jesus you got it you got it but just you made it look so easy you just have to use your counterweight like okay you got okay, it you got it i'm right here anyways hold on, hold on. even if you fall there's not far to go so and Don't give up. That's the hard part. You gotta keep using your feet. You gotta keep using your feet. Okay, okay. Shh. Abraham Hicks. Manifested. Yeah, mama. Okay, Lowe's motivation. The chips. Are you taking Here we go. You can do it. You're almost there. You're basically there. Yeah, you just gotta believe in yourself. Shh. Keep walking. Just believe in yourself. Yeah, okay, I just go for the rock now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Oh god, don't climb up that branch over there. I mean trunk. That's like the same thing. See that one? Yeah. It's gonna be like a skateboarding, yeah? Notification <laughs> number one. Oh my god. I don't think I can do that again. That's even steeper low. Nah, that tree doesn't sound so safe, honey. Okay. Obstacle number two. Don't do that. Lauren's got her own way. Wait, she watch her. Root her on. Root her on. She got this. Yeah, go that way. <laughs> you got it. Go straight up. Everything. 
We made it to the edge. We're gonna do tarot. Are you gonna bless them? No, just let the bark sit there. Just let the energy pile on, I suppose. It starts with a small little flame for you to see the light. Uh, so in a sense, like this doesn't really matter. It's your past, you're okay. here right now, you have it all. Um, but take your time and appreciate uh, how long it takes for things to occur. So like yeah. the day has 24 hours, the night comes. Uh, be there, present, and feel the time. Don't, in a sense, it shouldn't exist at all for you. So really- Time shouldn't exist. Exactly, it doesn't. Just be Yeah, okay, I f be I'm getting that now. I'm, I'm trying to be like that. Mm. I'm not trying, I'm just being yeah. that way, yeah. Uh, the son of- Pentacles. Pentacles. Um, so he's a very intuitive spiritual person the card that you pick this is sort of the future that is to come for you mm. it involves a lot of creativity but it really takes a lot of self-work uh in a sense of like your future you will become this person because you're here right now it's for you to understand you have everything it things take time time doesn't exist so be here now mm -hmm. uh you are that spiritual person and this just will ignite it even further into the future for you to become uh, and it's a, it's a it's a working card, so a lot of uh, projects, creativity that's about to happen in your future. Well, I think the thing that made the most sense you said working on yourself mm. because yeah. Anyway, that's just what putting your head down and just yeah. But overall, they're all great cards. Cool. So I just got home, and remember, I took the rest of my moose type stuff, and I made a cake out of it. It's actually very moist. And I think we might have a different recipe on our hands. Hazelnut chocolate cake. Okay, I'm still watching the holiday. I have an hour left, which means I will not even finish it before I have to go to a dinner thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dinner at Vegetarian Haven and meeting up with a couple of girls who you may or may not know. One is Candice from Edgy Veg, and the other is Nikki from Health Not Nutrition, both YouTubers. Um, and we're going to have dinner together. I'm like the fifth wheel because John is away for about a week, 10 days in Prince Rupert working. So I'm just restless and anxious and alone. <laughs> I actually am. I, I'm not very good when he goes away for work. Yeah, I feel Nikki. like this is so close to my nose No, right it's now. not. It's okay. not too close. <laughs> this is Matt. This is James. Candace. I said that they might already know you because they might already know you from YouTube. Hey. <laughs> you never know. We're, We're drinking kombucha. Cider and you're having kombucha because there's no alcohol at this place. Cheers. 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 Snickle. I have one more thing to do before I finish holiday. I have half an hour left in the movie. I have to check my tarts and do a taste test to see if I need to redo these tomorrow or if I can wake up and take a picture. Look, I wanted it solid like that. I don't know, this is pretty good. Mm-hmm. What do I put on top, coconut whip? I'm gonna put a strawberry on top. But it might look weird. Mm. Okay, so that's my vlog. Thanks for watching. I only show you what I did on Sunday because I did literally nothing on Saturday. I sat on Natalie's couch <clears throat> and watched movies for like eight hours. So I'll see you guys Wednesday.